Hey you guys, it's day two of the Superstar Libra and yeah, we were completely propelled by the wind and look at my hair, never mind. So anyway, we're just taking a little walk around the ship after breakfast and today we're gonna go and see the elephants and the monkeys and things like that. This is after some lunch. I'm doing a voiceover over this video so you might hear me talking over myself. I apologize about that but it was because I was so sick and I just couldn't really think about vlogging. But I still recorded videos so that I could show you guys and also to save these memories for me to look at later on. So I kind of cut half an hour worth of video and put it into two separate videos but it was really fun and actually these elephants are not as big as I thought they were going to be. I thought we'd be much higher above ground, but we weren't. I mean, we were still, I was still hanging off that seat, but yeah, it didn't feel as high as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> hey everybody, it's our first day in, where is this? Phuket? It's Phuket then. Phuket Island. Phuket Island. Thailand. Ka. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Anyway, we just did our elephant riding adventure. It was pretty cool. Elephants were cool and big. And I was pretty much hanging off the elephant. <laughs> and then we're going to see an elephant show and a monkey show or something like that. And then we'll move on to our next stops. But apparently there's a fish therapy spa over there. We are sitting on a swing. That's why we're like swinging. <laughs> there's a souvenir shop over there and there's like all sorts of other things around. There we go. So yeah, I feel one with nature. How do you feel, Yana? Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> Peace out. See ya. I must say though, these baby elephants are super smart on top of being extremely adorable. Like, ah, squish them. <laughs> they're a lot bigger than me, but they're still so cute. I mean, just look at them. Just look at them. <laughs> Mom, can I bring one home, please? Can we like keep one in our backyard? This next part is what's called an elephant massage. So they got volunteers and all these people were getting a little massage by the elephant. I wanted to try it but I wasn't feeling that great so I didn't want to like throw up or anything. But I would have done it! It's so cool! Yeah. 
We be the last one, okay? This is a special show for, except only for the men. We need to massage banana. <laughs> That's scary. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this next part is where we watched the monkey show. They're really adorable too, but I think the second monkey is a lot smarter or better trained than the first one. But still, cute! Elephant Swingo. This is the real fruit and nut. So one fruit is become one nut only. One nut? Yes. My one, fruit, one fruit is become one nut. What happened to the fruit? What happened to the fruit? I will tell you after this. It's normally the people, they know they will get, the people who own of the catch tree, they know they get good money to sell all the nut back to this factory. Most of the fruit, fruit they is for the lady, for diet. <laughs> they eat with the sauce and pepper, oh. sauce and chili, because the juice from the fruit it tastes very bitter, not sweet at all. Some of the people they are put into the curry soup, but there is the local food only. Okay, for the local food only. Most of them they are throw away, but they don't have to work. It's like a coconut, uh, coconut. So they wait until. 
grip in and then fall down. The people will be grabbed that one from the front and twist and get the nut. What is the next? So what is the process is when the people get the fresh nut, they need to boil it first. About eight hours boil into the hot water and dry to the sun another three or four days. After that, they're gonna use this machine to work one by one. So one of the special machines is gonna be breaking the heart for two parts like this. You will see the nut inside. Anyway, when they proceed this step, they're gonna separate. If it's the nut break, so they're gonna put it on another head because the price will be less. If you get like the nut is really complete like this, it will be good price. Finish this step. The workers will be sit next door. They will peel another skin off until you get. I have like this one. Okay. This it will be the cashew nut ready to cook, not ready to eat. <laughs> After that, we are gonna rotate or fry and cover with other different sauce that what will be complete for products from the cashew. But a small thing interesting about the cashew, you see when it's the hot, they can make money from that as well. Did you know what they're using for? No. After they boil it and dry it to the sun, so you can see some oil in here. They will still sell this one to other factory. It was nearby Bangkok. They will extract the oil. They're gonna use that oil for lubricant, making some color for painting hair, color for painting house, painting the wood.